We have a counterattack to deal with! Coming up, the G.I. Joe Classified Series, number 99, the HasLab Kura Hiss Driver. Stick around. What's up and welcome to Crossfire Collectibles. Today's video, we're going to be starting off with these Hazlap figures. So, hitting it off will be number 99, the Cobra His Driver. So, here he is. Got this uh, kind of unique box art, which is pretty cool. Um, if you watch the uh, His Tank unboxing, I showed this box. Did not take any of the figures out. So, each one of those are going to be done, you know, back to back to back. All solo so if you want to get a nice up close and personal look at them this is the time all right so here he is you can see they stuck to the stats in larger scale on the sides here move down number 99 around to the back it's a little different as well it's almost like a schematic it says what he's got and that actually has a times two next to it flip around to this side 788 you have this Mark GH7C or Mark 1 GH7C. Cobra Hiss logo is freaking awesome. The bottom, Semper Fidelis Serpents. And the top, Hazlab G.I. Joe Classified Series. All right, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and pop this open. But first, if you're new to the channel, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe for future content. All right, so these figures here uh, are not taped, so they do not require any cutting of the tape. So no need for the trusty dusty. So pop this open. And slide these contents out. So we go ahead, close this back up, put it off to the side. And here it is. There is the Cobra Hitch driver. It's a little more shinier than I expected. He's got that crimson red that they're using. It's not actually crimson, but, you know, from what the other figures are using. Uh, yeah, them boot covers are very shiny as well as the gauntlets and the uh, the trim around to his chest plate here. It's interesting. Nothing on the back. Uh, unlike the other figures, that is not a black and white. You know, artist render in the back is actually colored. So that's interesting. But um, I made a mistake. So we are going to need Trusty Dusty because we got to cut these off. So let's pull that out. And we'll go ahead and snap these off one by one. Almost makes you feel like I'm destroying something doing this. But it's all for the love of the hobby. Got to get them open. All right, so with them out, I'll go ahead and give you a shot of that. As you can see, got a shadow up on it and then a glare. But that's probably your best shot right there. Not bad. And here is the Cobra Hiss driver. He seems pretty tall. Um, probably 6.2 6 maybe. But yeah, he's definitely not short. Feels nice. Not wobbly. Make sure all the parts are right. Doesn't have no two left feet or anything. And I think we're good to go. Um, it's got that neat little... Uh, forearm band here that you can see it's um, got some purple in it some green or like light green and then gold so it's pretty shiny gold on there nice you see he's got the silver Cobra sigil over the blue right here um, that piece comes around so it's all you know part of this I don't know what you want to call that vest maybe but it's got the straps and the shoulder pieces cool man um, definitely need legs, so that's that's a plus. Belt uh, feels like it's attached, and it is, because this is another one of them squishy type um, cod pieces here. All right, let's uh, check his articulation out. The head has a uh, sort of like a gloss finish over it, so it's not like the matte like the rest of the red. But, um, you got that silver visor and a matte black face mask over his mouth and nose. So let's see, he's got the neck forward that far, up that far, let's see, 
tilt side to side a little bit. And the ball joint, so you got your 360 right there. Here's the two of the shoulders, nice butterfly joints. See, the arm can come up that far, and it can also pull it back down, rotate a full 360. Got the bicep swivel, and there's double jointed pinless elbows. Back down to this arm piece, this uh, little wristband or gauntlet, whatever it is, it is removable, so it's sliding around on there. Um, let's go to his hand real quick and show that off. Got your hinge peg. You can move down that far. And, hmm, doesn't want to go up too far because of the piece on. And it'll also rotate 360. I'm going to go ahead and pluck his hand off just to uh, check this out. See, right off. So there's that. And here's this. So you could actually swap arms if you wanted to. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, put that back on and uh, check that hand a little better. Now I can, you can move that hinged peg around. So we're gonna go plug it back in. All right, moving down. Uh, I figured it does have the ab crunch, but he is wearing this vest, so he can't go that far forward, but he can move back. Um, he does have waist swivel. Move down to the legs. There is drop leg. Rotation at the thigh, as well as a non attached holster that is movable. Moving down to the knees, yeah, double jointed pinless knees, and on them new legs, which are again pretty awesome. Coming down through the ankle, and he's got that hinge joint right there, go that far forward, and it can also move that far up, which is actually pretty far. And he has a side to side pivot. Also, noticing that there is ankle rotation as well. Hmm, interesting. That's a new. So, anyways, there is the purple hitch driver. Go ahead and stand him up. It's got a, kind of a wide stance, but that's okay. Move on to his accessory box. So, we'll start here. Cobra hitch driver. Cool. Number 99. Nothing. 99. So these don't open up like the traditional ones. They do have this end opening right here. Just reach in, pull that out. Let's see what kind of bag we got with this. Hey, new crap for once. Well, traditional, what we've seen all before, GI Joe Cobra accessory bag. Very nice. Pull this open. Didn't want to rip it because I actually save this stuff. Knock this contents out. Get that off to the side. So here's what we got. We have two crazy fists here. So these are, I don't know, almost like fighting fists. You can see it's a kind of a larger glove that he has on, um, covering a entirely clenched fist. I don't know what else to say. A right and a left hand. We're gonna bring him back over and uh, pop this left hand off since we popped the right one off before. And we're gonna plug this one on to see how that looks. And there it is. That's crazy. Big ass hand. That's a huge bitch. Anyways, um, I'm not feeling them, so I'm gonna actually ditch them. Because I actually want to be able to use this figure. And, uh, plug them back in. Stand him back up. And we'll go over the rest. So here he has his pistol. Um, slightly new, it looks. Got a different design on it. There's a hole at the end right here for a blast effect. Uh, it looks nice. Very cool. And not much to the accessories on him, because then he just has this crazy mix-up of a uh, concoction here. This multi-weapon. It looks like you kind of have a pistol. It has this added on stock. Uh, obviously, it's semi-automatic. There is a large magazine in there. And it has a blade on the front. Uh, 
almost looks like it will move, but it does not. Above the blade, at the end of that barrel, you can see a hole so it does have a blast effect. And the magazine does come out. So you see right in the bottom there. So that's a nice, nice little addition. Looks pretty good. Um, I have no idea what the hell this is, but it looks cool. So we're going to go ahead and gear him up. And not much to it, you know, simple put the pistol in his drop like holster, just like that. And we'll give him the gun in his left hand. So kind of go over and pry them fingers a little bit. Let's see if I can get that hand up in there. Might have to go from the bottom. There we go. It's in there. So we're just kind of gonna give him like a little pose like he has on the uh on the box art here. And Unfortunately, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to grip the front right there, so we might just have to go around the magazine. I'm not going to put his hand on the blade to hold it for stability, because that's idiotic. I'm just going to kind of have him slightly grip right here, you know, kind of under the blade, but right behind it. So, something like that. And then we'll put these up, and then uh, we have a couple surprises. So, let's go ahead and throw him on the turntable and give you some final thoughts, and then bring in our final surprise. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Be sure to check out our previous videos. A link will always be pinned in the comments. Now, back to G.I. Joe. All right. So, here is the G.I. Joe Classified Series, number 99, the HasLab Cobra His Driver. A uh, cool figure. He's he's pretty pretty neat. Um, his articulation and flexibility is actually pretty good. Uh, the hands are a little goofy trying to hold the front of that little uh, submachine gun, you know, whatever it is right there. But overall, I think he's he's pretty neat. Um, I really don't quite understand those, you know, fisted hands. I don't know if he's supposed to be fighting something off or what, but they're a little crazy. Um, one of the nice things about it is, you know, the color separation, you know, the hard parts are actually, they have like that, uh, they have that gloss finish to it. And the soft parts, well, not technically really soft parts, but the soft parts that would be on the his driver's uniform are, are a mat. So that's nice. Um, I like the legs, they're pretty cool. Um, I have no idea what they will use them for in the future, but I'm sure there's plenty of things that'll, that'll pop up. But uh, the helmet's neat. Um, I don't think we need to actually see his face because we understand, you know, he is a hip driver, and I don't think any hip drivers ever show their faces. But he's cool. All right, so moving on, um, we're gonna go ahead and dish the turntable, and then we're actually gonna bring in the hiss, and we're gonna try out the hiss driver inside of the hiss to see how he looks. So we'll be right back. He'll fight for freedom wherever there's trouble. GI Joe is there. GI Joe. Unbeatable! Surprise attack! Call in the Wolverine! Go get him, cover girl! G.I. Joe! So long, Wolverine! Hurry, Clutch! Wolverine's in trouble! Dash roll up! Hiss is ready! G.I. Joe, Wolverine, and Cobra's Hiss, each with figure, other figures, and equipment sold separately from Hasbro. Alright, so we brought the Hiss in, and we're gonna go ahead and load the driver up in here. I think I pressed the light when I brought him over. Go ahead and put him in the cockpit. I'm gonna take that gun off and see how this will look. So let's see if we can bring this around a bit. I'll try to keep this all in frame. And I'm gonna aim that cannon up. Lift up that cockpit. Um, let me see if I can kind of angle this down some. It's gonna be a very close shot, but there's what we got. So here's the seat belt. So from the back. You want to get behind there and unplug it like that. Get his legs in. So first, we'll kind of just feed them you know, through that. Bring him on down. Get him nice and comfortable. Throw that strap over. And get this arm out of the way. Right. Might need his legs cracked a little bit, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna put his 
have one hand over the throttle that is right here. It's going to say it will fit right on top of it. And we'll put his right hand on that joystick like this. I'm sorry, I can't say, but I'll show you guys once it's done. And then I'm going to pull that strap down and fold this bottom up some to attempt to lock him into place. It's like I just can't get my fingers down in there. I don't want to pull too hard. And almost had it. Push a little bit harder. And there we go. Okay, so try to give a shot down in there. You can see we got the seatbelt on. We have his left hand on the throttle, his right hand on the joystick. And we'll go ahead and mess with the lights, get them turned on. Get the flashing. Pretty neat. Overall, so that's pretty cool. So there we go. Hitch driver is in the vehicle. Go ahead and shut that cockpit back up. And close that. Lift the side. Yeah, maybe have him turn his head. You know, he'd be saying, hey, what's going on, guys? You know, try to angle that down so you guys can see. Very cool. So yeah, now I'm happy. Because the Hiss actually has a driver. All right. So real quick, we're gonna change angles. Flip this around to the back. And we're gonna go ahead and pull this ramp down. So. While we have that, I want to go ahead and store his gun since he can't have it on him. We're going to find a spot for it up in here. So it looks like it can fit. Let's see if I can get in here. We don't need to put this on the top rack, but we can hang it right there. You know, on the third one up. And it fits. You got that hook right behind or right kind of in front of the stock. And then the blade going over that front hook right there. Unfortunately, I don't see a place to put these extra fists. So, for the time being, we're just going to go ahead and set them right on in there, like that. Now, let's close this up and get back to the cockpit. So, with that being said, actually, I'm going to leave that open because it's leaving a glare. Alright, so, I think that's going to do it for this one. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. I uh, hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, please, like always, leave that giant thumbs up. Subscribe. Tickle that bell so you know when we post future videos. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we will see you in the next one. Peace.